Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Throne of Seal based on novel. So let's start. After quite a while, everyone's emotions came back to tranquility, and Long Houchen declared, let's talk after we get inside the room. The five of them entered Long Houchen's room together. After shutting his room well, Long Houchen took off the golden foundation armor on him in a rush. In front of his elder sister and brother, how could he be willing to stay estranged in this layer of metal? At this time, he could observe Li Xin and Lin Xin with attention. Compared to the time before their separation, Li Xin seemed a lot more mature, her build was even more fiery and sexy. Her pink hair was combed behind her head, and her eyes showed great focus. Her cultivation had obviously progressed greatly. Compared to Li Xin, Lin Xin's changes were even more huge. Before their separation, Lin Xin used to give off a frivolous feeling, but at the current time, the changes in his looks weren't huge, but it felt clear that he had become much more resolute. He also looked quite dignified, giving him a steady look, which was something unthinkable to describe the past him. In particular, the expression in his eyes was focused and steady, lacking the erratic wandering of before. It seemed that he had matured greatly over these two years of separation. Without looking at his appearance, Long Houchen may have been unable to recognize him. Even without asking, Long Houchen could imagine that Lin Xin had experienced a lot over the past two years. Lin Xin, these two years have been hard on you. Long Houchen declared sincerely. These words weren't fired blindly. The one who contributed the most for the 64th Commander Grade Demon Hunt squad over these two years was Lin Xin. The pills he made gave huge boosts to everyone's external spiritual energy, and he also supplied a lot of pills for everyone's survival. And their captain Long Houchen didn't do any such thing, only remaining in secluded cultivation all this time. Hearing Long Houchen speak so, Lin Xin's expression had a change. Abruptly standing up, he stood straight in front of him like a child in the wrong, Captain, don't say that. What I did was only natural. But, but. Li Xin suddenly stepped in, let it be, this is all the past. Now that everyone has reunited with such difficulty, what do you want to say that for? Lin Xin turned his head to glance at Li Xin. To Long Houchen's surprise, Lin Xin who was originally head over heels for Li Xin shook his head resolutely, Xin'a, I have to say it no matter what. If I don't let boss know about this matter, I won't be able to rest for this whole lifetime. Long Houchen, who understood the seriousness of the matter, asked in puzzlement, what has happened in the end? Just what kind of matter? Lin Xin lowered his head, I didn't defend Xin'a well. During this holy war, her arm was cut off by the enemy. What? Long Houchen stood up in shock all of a sudden. The look in his eyes immediately becoming severe. To him, Li Xin was no less than a blood-related big sister. Back in Hao Yu City, Li Xin's meticulous care gave him a moral support that was no inferior to a parent's. There's no way Long Houchen's attachment to Li Xin could ever weaken. Li Xin hastily stood up, this is all in the past, didn't this arm just get connected back? For my sake, Lin Xin has been suffering a lot over more than a year. Houchen, don't blame him, this was absolutely not his fault. While saying that, she took the initiative to join Lin Xin's side and held his right arm, nestling against him, full of warmth. Seeing them, Long Houchen immediately came to an understanding. Lin Xin had a guilty look, both his eyes reddened, while Lin Xin had a warm and happy look. Obviously, their feelings towards each other had made a qualitative leap. Lin Xin, just tell me what has happened in great detail. I also heard that you are now the captain of the number one mage squad of the mage temple. Right when Lin Xin wanted to start to talk, Li Xin rushed to be the first, let me tell you everything. If you listen to him, it will surely end up as a speech of himself trying to take all blame. He's just totally blind with love. At this very moment, that simple sentence from Long Houchen made Lin Xin feel that all he invested was worth it. His captain didn't blame him for that. Boss, the immense pressure filling him was finally abandoned, and Lin Xin's closed heart finally opened totally. Losing his voice in bitter cries, his pent-up emotions raged out like a mountain torrent. Han Yu wanted to advance to console him, but was blocked by Li Xin. She understood Lin Xin's current mental state the most clearly. Now that he was finally liberated from these emotional issues, letting him cry his fill was definitely far better than holding these sentiments back inside him. Lin Xin's burst of emotion lasted for over a quarter of an hour before calming down. Although his eyes became inflamed due to crying, his look was clearly a lot softer, 
and his repressed heartstrings finally loosened. He didn't have that immense mental pressure anymore, but the intense tiredness made him directly fall asleep in Li Xin's arms. The pressure he inflicted upon himself these days was too much. After letting it all out, he needed to have a good rest to let his body and mind recover their normal state. Two days later, on the Tombal Mountain Pass Fortress. What does the Mage Temple rely on most to defend the Tombal Mountain Pass? It's without a doubt their mags. The Mage Temple had a total of 10 main mage squads, all formed of 500 people, all of whom reached at least the fifth step of cultivation. The ones below the fifth step only served as backup forces, and weren't allowed to join the battlefield. This was a protective action the Mage Temple chose for the sake of defending the mags of lower cultivation. After all fostering a mage wasn't an easy thing at all, and maybe another Li Xingji could appear among these mags of currently low rank. Aside from the ten main mage squads, they had some even more powerful mage squads, constituted of powerhouses. All of the main mage squads were specialized in only one element, because this was the only way to avoid the appearance of elementary clashes in the battlefield. It wasn't because of being the strongest in the team that Lin Xin managed to distinguish himself as captain, but because the number one mage squad, known as Ignition Corps, was only composed of control mags. Boss, these are my fellow brothers. Lin Xin pointed to 500 mags all clad in fiery red gowns as he spoke. After going through two days rest, Lin Xin's body was close to normal. After releasing his mental burden and letting out his pent-up feelings, his mental force seemed to have a consequent rise. As the captain of the number one mage squad, he obviously couldn't rest for too long. After recovering his spirit, he immediately returned to his post. Aside from Li Jingji's summons from that day, Long Haochen didn't receive any order or request from the mage temple. In other words, he was in a state of total freedom. At least for now, Lin Xin was still the captain of the number one mage squad. With his invitation full of great kindness, Long Haochen's group of three accompanied by Li Xin arrived on the fortress. With Lin Xin's status in the Tombao Mountain Pass, making a proof of identity for them couldn't be easier. The ones guarding the front of the fortress were all tall, robust warriors clad in heavy armor. These warriors were almost all backup sent by the warrior temple, and at their rear were mags. The number of mags on the fortress was sufficient to astonish anyone. For as far as the eye could see, Long Haochen saw over 2,000 mags on the city walls. And furthermore, mags of different elements were all assigned to different mage squads and were clad in gowns of different colors, showing proof of their assignations. When looking into the distance, eight demon god pillars could be seen standing straight among the demon barracks. Seven of them formed a ring around the central one, which was particularly immense. Dense purplish-black radiance was unceasingly rising up above this demon god pillar, and one could faintly see a fierce face appearing in the midst of the purplish-black light. The hell demon Marbas was ranked fifth amongst demon gods. Like the demon god of death Samanaga was overseeing the dragon resisting mountain pass, the hell demon god Marbas was standing around here, from this one, could see how much the demon's side valued this Tombal mountain pass. After the holy war went on for so long, the Tombal mountain pass was the side with the fewest casualties. This wasn't only about human casualties, but also demon casualties. That's because in the absolute majority of times, both sides' mags were opposed, and no one was able to easily break through the enemy's defensive formations. In terms of magical force, the Tombal mountain pass wasn't inferior to the enemy in the slightest, and had the advantage of terrain, making use of their magical array. Marbas even personally intervened sometimes, but never managed to turn the tides, returning in low spirits due to failure every time. Mags The fire mags forming the team were all looking at Long Haochen's group curiously. Fully clad in his uniform of golden armor, Long Haochen was undoubtedly the greatest focus of attention. However, as they were firmly disciplined, no one muttered any comments. Lin Xin lowered his voice to a great extent, asking Long Haochen, Boss, when are we going? Let's go look for Yuan Yuan in the southeastern fort. South of the Tombao Mountain Pass was the side of the Warrior Temple. After reuniting with Long Haochen, Lin Xin became even more eager to reunite with the others. Seeing them, Lin Xin was stupefied, but immediately became enraged at her, letting out a cold shout, What did you just say? Seeing Lin Xin, Xian Yuan Yang had a distinct look of jealousy. Tan Yang's expression was still odd, as she rapidly swept a glance at Lin Xin standing beside Li Xin, coldly declaring, The Tombao Mountain Pass doesn't need outsiders. Lin Xin, as the captain of the number one mage squad, you still brought outsiders onto the fortress without explicit approval. 
This matter will be reported to the temple. Lin Shin wrinkled his brows, looking at Tan Wan with a clearly complex gaze, Miss Wanzi, why would there be any need for that? Wanzi is a pun between pill and something like, little Wan. As this appellation of Miss Tan came out, Tan Wan's body shook visibly, but she rapidly suppressed her own emotions, Captain Lin, please conduct yourself with dignity. I am the captain of the Raging Wind Legion, not some miss. I am ordering you to immediately bring these people out, or else don't blame me for becoming ruthless. The Raging Wind Squad didn't belong to the ten main mage squads, but was a mage squad directly subordinate to the mage temple's head Li Jingji. After Tan Wan's cultivation broke through the seventh step, Li Jingji put this squad formed of wind elemental mags under her command. In terms of status, the Raging Wind Legion was visibly above the ten main squads, which was to say that Tan Wan was without mistake Lin Xin's superior officer. Lin Xin's face had a burst of red before having a burst of white, but in front of Tan Wan, he seemed unwilling to flare up like he seemed about to. Long Houchen pat his shoulder, smiling to him, let it be, Lin Xin. Since the Tombao Mountain Pass doesn't need our assistance, we will go down for now. Saying that, he turned toward Kia and Han, and turned round, heading down from the fortress. Wait a moment. Tan Wan said suddenly. Long Houchen turned round, is Captain Tan Wan calling for me? Tan Wan nodded, her look becoming very sharp, before Provisional Saint Nighthead returns to the Tombao Mountain Pass, would it be possible to ask for your guidance, to compare notes with me? I will be comparing notes with you. Without waiting for Long Houchen to start to talk, Kia became unable to bear it. A tyrannical burst of killing intent swept out from her. Long Houchen could keep enduring, but she couldn't. If someone remained so overbearing, Kia had to break out in rage sooner or later. In front of the killing intent discharged by Kia, the expression on the faces of the crowd of mags immediately changed. Outside of Tan Wan and Xian Yuan Yang, all of them dropped to the ground and only barely managed to resist the onslaught of her killing intent by hurriedly stimulating their spiritual energy. Tan Wan and Xian Yuan Yang also looked perturbed. Xian Yuan Yang had seen before how Kia cut the seal open and was better off, but Tan Wan was in great shock. The killing intent from Kia congealed, tyrannical beyond compare. Before she put it to use, not the slightest bit of it was allowed to leak out. That required a considerable level of training and cultivation. On the other side, Li Xin was following them away, Houchen. I'm all right, sis. Long Houchen naturally understood that Li Xin wanted to console him. Li Xin Sai then said, Speaking of which, things have been made quite difficult for Lin Xin. His contradiction with Tan Wan and Xian Yuan Yang is greatly related to me. H.M. Long Houchen had a quite curious look. I found Lin Xin quite respectful towards Tan Wan, but she still insisted on criticizing him. Just two days ago, Long Houchen had met with the head Li Jingji as the provisional saint knight head from the Knight Temple. Even with Tan Wan's identity in the Mage Temple, there's no way she should be so impolite towards him. Long Houchen took notice before that when Tan Wan was speaking to them, her gaze was focused on Lin Xin from beginning to end. That rage seemed clearly related to Lin Xin. They only seemed to have been targets on whom her anger was to be taken out. Li Xin replied. This matter was born from a misunderstanding. When he was young, Lin Xin used to live in the Tombao Mountain Pass, and Tan Wan was a few years older. He used to always call her Miss Wanzi, and since she was young, she's always taken good care of him and treated him well. Lin Xin having lost his parents very young, he became very fondly attached to Tan Wan. But these two had a gap in age and Lin Xin had vowed not to use magic for attacks. Though Tan Wan repeatedly tried to convince him, he still remained unwavering in his oath. Afterwards, Lin Xin's grandfather was transferred to Holy City. Originally, Lin Xin wasn't planning to follow his grandfather there, but the engagement between Tan Wan and Xian Yuan Yang left him greatly wounded, and after leaving her a letter, he followed his grandfather to Holy City. Then they didn't have any contact for a very long time. In that letter, Lin Xin told her about his feelings, which could be said to be for the sake of unburdening himself. After reaching Holy City, he devoted his effort to the research of magic medicine and gradually let go of these feelings. Afterwards, he crossed paths with you and became a demon hunter. But what he didn't know was that after Tan Wan saw that letter, she also found out about her own inner feelings, that she was in love with Lin Xin too. For this reason, she asked temple head Li Jingji to appear personally, 
for the sake of cancelling their scheduled wedding. But due to the excessive sensitivity of the matter, Temple Head Lee had her cultivate in seclusion. First, it was for the sake of her cultivation, and then to avoid exposing her to the heart of the struggle of public opinion. After Tan Wan's secluded cultivation terminated, and when she came to look for Lin Xin, he had already become a demon hunter, and went to run missions alongside Yulot. That's how the matter ended. And when they met again in the Tombao Mountain Pass, Lin Xin had already become a couple with me. Hearing Li Xin's story, the three of them looked at each other, and Han Yu expressed very strangely, it's a matter of hate born from love. Li Xin had a bitter smile, it can be considered so. For that reason, I find Tan Wan extremely pitiful. No matter what it is about her, Lin Xin and I have been as forbearing as possible. It turned out that after we returned to the Tombao Mountain Pass, everyone learned about that misunderstanding. After all, Lin Xin and I had been thinking that she was already married to Xian Yuan Yang at the time we were dating. This matter is a freak combination of factors where no one can be blamed. At the start, Tan Wan still held a good attitude toward us, but after Lin Xin decided to train in offensive magic for my sake, Tan Wan's attitude changed drastically, taking it out on him whenever possible. And furthermore, she seems to believe that the fact that she couldn't end up together with Lin Xin was related to demon hunt squads. You are all members of Lin Xin's team, so her previous attitude should be for that reason. Han Yu let out a bitter smile, so we were innocently caught in such a calamity. Long Houchen reacted, the response Tan Wan's feelings received makes her quite pitiful. I hope that in the future there could be a chance to resolve this matter. Li Xin replied, I fear that it will be very hard. Her answer is deep, unless I go away. But Lin Xin has already paid such a cost for me, I am already, reaching this point, the valiant and formidable-looking female knight couldn't help but blush. After having been through so much, she came to love Lin Xin dearly. How could she not be moved by the act of a man who abandoned something he has dedicated so many years of his life to, only for the sake of one girl? Right at this time, a sharp cry rang out from within the mountain pass. The atmosphere in its entire range instantly tensed up. Li Xin's expression changed, the demons are attacking. I will be returning to assist Lin Xin. Hao Chen, you can return to rest in the temple first. Long Hao Chen replied, resisting the demons is everyone's duty. Let's go, we just have to go back up. I believe that Tan Wan should be adhering strictly to her job this time and won't manage us. While saying that, he took the initiative of going up the fortress. Calmly reacting, for the sake of his honor as Saint Knight, had he didn't renounce resisting the demons. This attitude could only receive Li Xin's secret praises, finding her little brother even more mature than in the past. When everyone was back on the fortress, strong elemental fluctuations were immediately felt. These elemental waves were not launched by the mags, but originating from the Tombao Mountain Pass. Long Houchen clearly looked at the fortress ground, to see round magic arrays every 50 meters, all colored a milky white. Soft magical waves spread thin white halos that covered every angle of the fortress. Long Houchen sensed that these magic arrays had a gathering effect, while stepping on the magic arrays, the speed of absorption of magic essence was at least 10% higher. And these magic arrays seemed to apply to every elemental used. From afar, one could see black clouds densely cover the skies. Afar off, the eight demon god pillars emitted some strong breath of darkness. The demon armies were not fast at all, one could only see layer upon layer of darkness essence bubble forth from the demon army's ranks, poured into the black clouds on the sky. The core of the black clouds was the hell demon god pillar. This was a combinatorial attack of the hell demons, despite the still far distance, it already held a powerful oppressive force from the fortress view. The air outside the Tombao mountain pass started to show rippling waves, a signature of the deployed defensive formation. It was because of Kia's sickle of the god of death that Kia had managed to break through only tearing a very small crack, letting them enter the formation for a flash. But this kind of large-scale clash was another story. Thanks to the formation's blockade, not the slightest darkness essence spilled inside the Tombao mountain pass. On the fortress, large amounts of radiant magic essence lit up, mostly gathering the water, fire, earth, wind and light attributes. The Tombao mountain pass ten squads were responding. Five of them were defending the fortress, standing beside warriors who were resisting for their sake, filling the whole fortress. Long Houchen's crew rapidly joined Lin Xin's side, seeing Lin Xin command these mags to start chanting at this time. They were chanting for a spell of the fifth tier specialized into compressing spiritual energy. 
As the demons were still far, they hadn't reached the optimum range of their magic yet. A maid's magic had limitations of distance, requiring a certain distance to unleash its full might. The stronger a mage was, the greater this distance would grow. Long Houchen found out that all the mags in this team were standing in a group of six, forming a Star of David. As they were encanting, the stays in their hand gathered essence of the same element in between them, rapidly condensing spiritual energy. Combinatorial magic. With Long Houchen's elemental sensitivity, he could sense that this combinatorial magic was not only for strengthening their magic, but also to increase their attack range. This was surely a specialized research made by the Mage Temple. Surely, they deserved being known as a powerful temple comparable with the Knight Temple. Lin Xin didn't participate in these magic arrays. Seeing Long Houchen's group come back to his side, he immediately became overjoyed. Voss. Lin Xin wanted to say something, but was interrupted by Long Houchen, let's meet the enemy with all we have for now. We will be in your command. All right. After experiencing these two years tempering, Lin Xin was far different from before, and visibly became a lot less dependent on Long Houchen. The demon armies advanced at slow speed, but felt tougher than boulders. Every time they went forward, their troops gained in steadiness. The black airflow gradually enveloped the demon armies, and from the fortress, one became gradually unable to discern their looks. The magic waves in the Tombao mountain pass also grew in brilliance, just like an extremely powerful magical beast of ancient times ready to spurt its greatest attack at any time. The oppressive force of both parties was extremely terrifying. Be it humans or demons, all were reaching the critical points when both parties' attacks would meet up. By looking from high above, one could see that the two sides were completely different in color. The demon side was black colored with a tint of purple, and the Tombao Mountain Pass glinted in myriads of colors. Upon seeing that massive providence, even a powerhouse of the ninth step would feel insignificant. Lin Xin stood beside Long Houchen, speaking in a low voice, the first clash will be the most violent. The two sides will strike with all their power, but this won't cause casualties. But neither of us will dare be negligent, putting out our full power, otherwise, if the enemy takes the advantage, it will result in complete suppression. After the first clash is over, the demons will start besieging. That will be the real start of the battle. My heart of fire is rather special, unable to unite with their power. The time the enemy besieges will be when I will start to attack. Long Houchen asked, if I use supportive magic, will it affect their combinatorial spell? Lin Xin pondered slightly, let's try to see after the demons start besieging. I am worried that needless fluctuations may affect the process. And furthermore, the power of my brothers is enough to withstand the demon attack without issue. Lin Xin's prudence made sense. Although he had full confidence in Long Houchen, he preferred avoiding needless risks. After the start of the Holy War, the Tombao Mountain Pass was used to facing the demon offenses, which was to say that even without an intervention from Long Houchen, they would still resist the enemy's attacks without issue. Since that was the case, why let Long Houchen take risks? If it produced the opposite reaction, wouldn't it just destroy his boss reputation? Long Houchen nodded calmly. He'd never been matched with so many mags, especially when they were in states of using combinatorial magic. So he didn't have an absolute confidence, and from Lin Xin's wording, he was able to gather that the members of the Mage Temple had ample confidence. Since things were that way, why would he take empty risks? The strong elemental waves were growing in fierceness, and the distant demon army suddenly accelerated without prior indication. In the sky, the violent purplish-black radiance violently burst forth, gradually taking the shape of a fierce devil's portrait. What? Something is amiss. Lin Xin's expression changed. Having crossed hands with the demons many times, he knew that this demon offense was quite early compared to usual. Right at this time, that immense devil portrait slowly looked up. From its mouth, a purplish-black beam was shot out, and immediately, seven beams of different colors shot forth. Gloomy and cold chants were distinctly heard even from the Tombao mountain pass, as the eight demon god pillars gathered all together. That devil portrait seemed to become even more concentrated, as if awaking as a real fiend demon, ready to throw himself at the fortress. A forbidden spell. The eight great demon gods were joining hands to prepare this forbidden spell. As that skull was flying forward, the previous black clouds turned into its tail, and fused with it in the process of their rapid flight. Forbidden spell. Lin Xin exclaimed. With great emotions, he immediately issued the order, gather your attacks. We cannot let that thing approach. The demons had suddenly changed stance, 
visibly catching the tombal. Mountain unprepared. And it would appear that this change of stance was initiated by Marbut's command to use the power of the other seven demon gods alongside the entirety of the mag's attacks. The instant that Fierce Skull appeared in the battlefield, the overwhelming majority of the mags in the Tombal Mountain Pass fortress felt as if their blood froze. Even the seal defending the Tombal Mountain Pass didn't give them any sense of security. This was all just too sudden. Completing this spell from the eight demon gods took a very short time. The Tombal Mountain Pass was already out of time to counter that abrupt burst of power. The commanders of the mage squads on the fortress were all veterans. Like Lin Shin, they all immediately made a response. From the fortress, a great amount of magic radiances burst out, gathering like a torrential rain to face that terrifying forbidden spell. Han Yu, assist me. Long Houchen called out in a low voice, to the nearby Han Yu, and directly sat in meditation. A meticulous and low chant came out from him, carrying a bizarre tempo and reverberating in a small area. As his cultivation increased, Long Houchen's capacity for judgment also grew. The instant that Devil Skull appeared, he already determined that the Tombal Mountain Pass could surely not contend against it. Of course, he couldn't either. But he had to give his best shot, even if he could only gain a little time, he had to do his best to give the Tombal Mountain Pass some time to handle the fatal attack. Han Yu sat in meditation behind Long Houchen, both hands pressed onto his back. With the retainer pact binding him to Houchen, transmission of spiritual energy became a lot easier. Even without the use of Lin Shin's co-joined spiritual pills, it had the same efficiency. In the meantime, he also put to use his spiritual stove of light blessing, which was the true reason for Long Houchen to have asked for his assistance. The orange brilliance coming out from the Golden Foundation Mountain Pass grew higher in power, and pure light essence was gathering toward Long Houchen's direction at an astonishing speed. Actually, what Long Houchen didn't know was that the eight demon gods' sudden outburst and full force, all-out attack was closely related to him. In the past days, the dragon-resisting mountain pass demon god of death Samanaga had to seclude himself due to serious wounds, his demon army utterly defeated. An SYTRY's demon army also received severe damage. Two great forts in a row encountered severe issues. Upon receiving the report, the demon god emperor's first reaction was to launch a counterattack against the humans. Although he didn't think humans had the ability to retaliate, what happened was a matter of fact. The demon god emperor's goal may only be to weaken the human forces, but he definitely wasn't a pacifistic practitioner of Buddhism. Seeing the sudden surge of counteroffensives from the Temple Alliance, he immediately gave this order to the other four great forts, to pressure the Temple Alliance to the greatest possible extent, and erase all their ideas of counterattacking. At the time Long Houchen's group arrived, the hell demon god Marbas just received this order, and after preparing for two days' time, the eight great demon gods relied on their demon god pillars to store the forbidden spell and thereby launch the attack. The stored forbidden spell could be transferred at any time, without need for a lengthy incantation. But this would greatly use up the spiritual energy stored inside the demon god pillars, which is why the demon gods ordinarily won't use it easily. It was to inflict serious damage to the Tombal Mountain Pass that Marbas decided to launch such an attack. And the suddenness of the matter really caught the Tombal Mountain Pass unprepared. The Wind Control Mage team was the first to launch its offense. The Wind Mags were the fastest, be it their incantations or their offenses' speed. In midair, strident sounds that reminded Long Houchen's crew of the experience they had in the desolate hissing cavern, and an immense green spear met straight with that devil's portrait. Hundreds of green lights hit that terrifying black forbidden spell extending over more than a hundred meters in diameter. At the time it approached, the devil's portrait had a distorted look, and a large quantity of tornadoes were distorted and routed, so only a little part managed to hit the main body of the forbidden spell, but only slowed down its advance a bit at most. The second burst was the earth mags. In the sky, boulders and rocks the size of millstones suddenly appeared bunched together, flooding the pitch-black forbidden spell with their powers. There's no need to mention that earth elemental magic is far more useful than wind elemental magic in such circumstances. Although a part was expelled, the overwhelming majority landed onto that forbidden spell, causing its speed to once again slow down. But if one paid careful attention, he'd find out that at the time the rock smashed that devil portrait, it was rapidly dissolved and disappeared. It only managed to slow down the speed of this forbidden spell's attack, but didn't manage to weaken its power. After earth came water, or more accurately speaking, ice. A series of blue-colored brilliant rays interweaved, condensing into one, 
it turned into an ice ball even larger than that devil's portrait, and smashed onto it. The clash was of short duration, and didn't let out any explosion. From the Tombao Mountain Pass's point of view, that immense ice ball melted from its core at an astonishing speed, turning into countless pitch-black raindrops that fell out loudly onto the ground. At last came fire. The mags under Lin Shin's command, grouped in units of six, formed ten immense bursting fireballs amplified by the magic formation of the fortress, meeting the skull in the shape of a rain of meteors. Ice and fire were two opposite elements, which completed each other miraculously well. A burning hot coming after a freezing cold could greatly penetrate the enemy spell's inner defense. But this seemed to be a failure. The bursting fireballs seemed to lose efficiency as they soared through that black forbidden spell, manifesting the frantic aspect of the fire element. But that black skull still managed to bear the damage, and after sustaining the four elemental attacks, it only lost a fifth of its volume. In other words, the joint act of 2,000 mags only managed to dispel a fifth of its offensive power. The consequences of the descent of such a terrifying forbidden spell were hard to imagine. The hell demon Marbas coldly gazed into the distant Tombal mountain pass, as the smoky tail acquired by the devil's portrait finished becoming fully one with it. Right at this time, hell descent fiercely struck the seal protecting the Tombal mountain pass. Part 1 End Here